Hey there, I'm Ari from the Tech Buyers Guru, and I'm taking a break from product reviews today. A lot of this great gear will be featured soon on the channel, but today is going to be a news day. This comes courtesy of AMD. They had a number of new products announced today, June 16th, 2020. Now, I'm not going to be reading the press release for you. You can go out and do that yourself. Instead, I'm going to be reading between the lines to tell you what this all really means to PC enthusiasts, and I'll give you a hint. It's not all good news. Let's start with the big B550 chipset release. This was telegraphed a month ago from AMD. They said today it was going to be shipping. It's actually not shipping today. It's shipping in a couple of days. But the bigger issue is pricing. Anyone who's waited a year for B550 to arrive in hopes of getting a great value is going to be sorely disappointed. The B550 line from Asus, Gigabyte, ASRock, and MSI, they're all coming in at $50 to $60 more than the B450 equivalents. And in some cases, they're actually coming very close to the X570 pricing. For instance, I have the Asus X570e gaming board here. This costs $300 and has been available for nearly a year. The B550 version is $280. That's a whopping $20 savings. Was it worth waiting for? You tell me. So my concern is that B550 is really cover for motherboard manufacturers to reap a little bit more profit by canceling B450. You heard that here first. I can almost guarantee you that all those B450 motherboards that have sold out during the past few months due to a lot of factors, including the pandemic, including uh, due to increased demand, they're not going to be restocked. Okay, this is a great opportunity for the motherboard manufacturers to come out with the B550 versions at higher prices. Uh, there's no reason for them to continue selling, say, the Asus B450 Tough Gaming at 110 when the new version is 170, or Gigabyte to continue selling its B450 Ors Elite at 110 when their B550 version is 160. Do you get my drift here? It's pretty obvious what's happening. Yes, you're getting a little bit more functionality in the B550 chipset, specifically PCIe Gen 4 capability for the M.2 slot and the video card slot. But if you really wanted that, you could have had it a year ago with X570. And if you wanted it at a savings, well, you're not getting that with B550. Frankly, I'm highly disappointed, and this is just bad news for enthusiasts. I know that B450 is going to go away, but there is a silver lining here. For people who want to buy a motherboard on a budget, AMD announced its new A520 chipset coming in August. This will be a stripped-down budget chipset, but I do assume it will come in at a low price point. Currently, B450 starts around $70. I assume A520 will come in around $60. And this is great news for people using AMD APUs. Think Athlon or Ryzen 3. People who, up until now, may be spending more on their motherboards than their APU. Well, now they'll be able to get a really cost-effective motherboard with the A520 chipset to pair with their low-cost APU. So that's the silver lining. But for the PC gaming enthusiasts out there, there's not a lot of good news in the chipset world. Uh, get your B450 motherboard now if you can. But frankly, most of them are sold out, and I can almost guarantee they're not going to restock ever. Okay, so that's the chipsets. What about the new CPU? So this was kind of a surprise, but frankly, it had been leaked that there would be these new XT CPUs. Now, XT is a name or a suffix that comes from the video card, the Radeon lineup, and it, it goes back many years, and XT is often kind of denoted performance. Well, these new XT CPUs aren't really all that much more performant than the X line that they replace, and you heard me say that correctly. Um, I believe these are going to replace the 3600X, the 3800X, and the 3900X at higher price points. So again, you've seen a pattern here. The new 3900XT is coming in at $500, which was the original price of the 3900X, but the 3900X is now $417. And according to AMD's own press release, the 3900XT is up to 4% faster in single-threaded benchmarks. But if you do the math on the numbers they actually provided, it's not even 4%. They, their Cinebench single thread score is 546 for the new XT version. It was 528 for the X version. That's actually 3.4% AMD. So you did some bad rounding there. Um, it's really not even 4%, and it's 20% more. My advice to you enthusiasts out there is grab your 3900X while you still can. It's going to go away. There's no way AMD is going to continue selling it for $417 when they can sell you an XT version for $500 that costs them the same to manufacture. Now, you are getting a slight speed bump. And so you may, may be doing the math and saying, well, 
uh, from the specs, it looks like this is just 100, 100 megahertz faster in terms of the single threaded uh, speed. And yet it's uh, that comes out to like 2% faster. And yet the Cinebench score is like 3.4%. Hey, maybe there's an IPC improvement. Nope, that's not what's going on here. Uh, let me break it down for you again. Basically, AMD CPUs all kind of boost to levels that don't round out to a kind of 100 megahertz increments, although that's how they spec them. So a 4.7 gigahertz maximum speed may actually mean 4.73 or 4.67. I think what's actually happening here is that the Ryzen 9 3900X probably boosted to something like 4.57 and the new 3900XT probably boosts to 4.73 and that will account for your entire single threaded improvement, that 3.4% that I calculated based on AMD's own Citibench numbers. So there's no magic here. There's nothing new under the sun. This is just a slightly overclocked 3900X, and that's something you could do for yourself at home. So like I said, buy that 3900X now. Um, in terms of the eight core CPUs, the 3700X is still the best value. I believe the 3800X will be EOL'd, and the 3800XT at $400 is kind of a non-starter from my point of view. And same thing with the new 3600 XT at $250. There's just not much room in the market for that. When you have the 3600 at about 165, there's no reason to spend almost $100 more on a 3600 XT. Uh, so frankly, overall the news is not good from AMD. And I, I've already mentioned that I think that this is cover for AMD and its board partners to EOL a number of popular product lines, B450, uh, 3800X and 3900X are probably going to be going away. But I also think this is going to be an excuse for AMD to delay Zen 3. Yes, Dr. Lisa Su herself did promise that Zen 3 was coming at the end of 2020, but she didn't say which Zen 3. And I think it's going to be the Epic server processor. I believe all you enthusiasts waiting for Zen 3 Ryzen are going to have to wait until CES in 2021. It's not that much longer to wait, but I don't think the Ryzen 4000 series is hitting in 2020. So you'll just have to bide your time with the existing CPUs. Absolutely grab that 3900X now. It's the best value going in a high-end CPU, especially if you need its 12 cores and 24 threads. I guarantee you that's going to disappear from store shelves. So that's the news. Is it good news? Not really, but hey, at least you can make some informed buying decisions and you can know why all those B450 motherboards that you've been waiting to restock won't be restocked. If you have any comments or questions, post them down below. I'll be sure to get back to you. If you like this video, please do like and subscribe and I will catch you next time.